Do you deal with burnout as a streamer? Well, hopefully you'll find this video useful because we're going to be going into a load of different tips about how you can deal with burnout if you are streaming. We're going to be splitting this up into four main areas for the video. We've got mindset, goals, practical tips, and then some closing inspiration at the back end of the video. Live streaming can be tiresome, so hopefully this video helps you to deal with that a little bit better. So first, let's talk about mindset and setting goals. The two things are actually combined, but we'll sort of talk about them together and separately as well, if that makes sense. You need to understand why you are streaming in order to set any sort of meaningful goals. Your why with streaming will help you to dictate exactly what it is that you're trying to get out of streaming. It might be that you just want to meet new people. It might be that you want to just have a new hobby. You might want to learn all about the streaming process, or maybe you're just a hardcore streamer that wants to get into it for the money. People get into stream for all kinds of different reasons and it's important that your goals are aligned with the reasons why you are streaming in the first place. It's really important to get this right because, for example, if you are getting stressed because you're working too much, but actually the main reason you're into streaming is because, say, for example, you wanted to have fun, play the games you want and not sweat the numbers, then those things obviously don't really work out. Sometimes it just takes a moment to sit back and realize what your actual reasons for getting involved in streaming actually were, just to realign that a little bit. So now we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about the goals themselves there are different types of goals that you can set as a streamer you may focus on things like followers or views how frequently you're streaming per month or even the amount of time that you stream per month and they're all absolutely fine but the thing is getting hyper focused on just the numbers can lead to burnout because it leads to you constantly thinking about them perhaps you're constantly measuring them constantly craving over the numbers and you actually spend a lot more extra time focusing on numbers than actually on the content and that can in itself be a bad thing obviously content needs to come first really if the content isn't good and you're focusing too much on numbers you're going to come across as potentially negative and you will get burnt out a lot more quickly the other thing is once you reach certain goals and numbers what happens from there do you just set new goals and continue to get tired and tied to those or do you get a little bit more demotivated because you've sort of hit your goals and not really sure what to do from there if you are feeling burnt out there's a good chance that it's because of focusing too much on the numbers and rather than just focusing on the enjoyment of streaming so we need to make sure that the goals themselves actually align with what you want to get from streaming so for example if your purpose as a streamer is to make people laugh and you want to just have a load of fun while doing that and perhaps be more along the social end of the stream spectrum you may want to come up with some funny bits that you can incorporate into your stream and also you may want to consider taking some improv classes or something like that in which case a part of your goals and planning for this would be more along the lines of watching comedians and getting better at improv maybe even taking some improv classes so they're much more realistic and aligned goals if your purpose is to have fun with streaming if you want to get involved in communities and build a community then obviously your goals should align to that so for example you can join discord and you can join other twitch communities communities and start to network but don't put a label on it like networking because that in itself can be quite stressful try and have a goal that allows you to encourage growth of new users and communities for example running regular community nights or playing different types of games that will encourage community play you can base your content around that if you want to conversely you might be the opposite you actually might not be too bothered about the community side of it in which case you may want to focus on, on getting very good at a specific game so that you can just be the best at that game you may just really enjoy a particular game in which case you're not focusing too much on the numbers and actually focusing on gameplay and quality and learning and perhaps even joining communities where you can do that and learn more and be better at games would be a better goal to set the key to this is setting goals that are actually in your control because you can't control how many people directly will follow you or view you but you can control the quality of you at something for example how good you are at improv or how good you are at building communities they're things that are much more in control and therefore setting goals that are aligned to that is going to be a much more beneficial to you and certainly help you avoid burnout not only are these better goals to set from the point of view of actually being achievable and in your control but it means that from there it will become more rewarding and the likelihood is that you'll enjoy the whole process a lot more and ironically not sweating over the numbers and not sweating over figures and growth and stuff like that can actually make a big difference in terms of your well-being and your mental health and it more than likely will allow you to improve the content which ironically probably will result in higher growth and more viewers.
Just quickly, if you're enjoying this video, we'd really appreciate if you can like the video. It definitely helps us on the algorithm. And of course, if you're not subscribed, feel free to do that as well. Thanks a lot. Next, we're going to talk about some more practical tips. And this is probably the most useful part of this video. The first practical tip that I would give would definitely be to stream less. A lot of people make the mistake when they first start streaming and in the early days of streaming where they'll just stream an unlimited amount of time, insane amount. And that in itself clearly will lead to burnout. But it also means you start to not enjoy streaming as much because you're doing it all the time. You're doing it quite a lot. Instead, why not try using some of that time to join new communities, build communities, think of different content plans, take a rest, spend some time with your friends and family, and you'll come back to streaming a lot more refreshed and with a lot more ideas and better ideas about how you can keep your content fresh, which more than likely means you'll enjoy it more, which again, ironically, will probably result in growth, even though the objective here is to not sweat those numbers as much. Having a routine is really going to help you. Eating, sleeping, going to the gym, getting some exercise, going for a walk, getting some fresh Share. These are all things that people neglect when they're streaming too much and trying to build the community in the early days. The irony is in the early days, you don't have a big community to be able to spend so much time delivering for. So actually in the early days, it's more important that you cater for quality rather than quantity. Other things you can do is perhaps improve your Discord, start up some new social media channels like YouTube, spend some of the time that you would have been streaming, maybe making some shorts or some TikToks and things like that. These are really good practical tools tips just to help you use the time a little bit more wisely than just streaming all the time. You can also spend some time actually improving the visibility of your stream, the scenes and sources on your stream. So rather than spending, for example, four hours on stream, why not try spending two, two and a half hours streaming and the other one or two hours there just improving the quality of the stream itself in terms of the visuals? Why not even try learning new skills like animation? This in itself will give you the tools to make better streams, but also learning a new skill can be very enjoyable and take the the edge off sweating out the grind for stream numbers. The reverse can also be true. I do see some streamers that will just go hell for leather and try and do all the different things on their stream to make it look really, really good. But often it turns out looking worse because they've just overcomplicated their stream as well. So if you're one of these people that's just absolutely obsessing over absolutely every single detail on your stream, whilst that's not necessarily a bad thing to do, you also need to make sure that you're making time for you. You don't want to get burnt out off stream so that when you do come on stream, you're too tired. So it's really important to get that balance right. You can also try playing with some friends or playing different games. These are all things that will help just add a little bit of variety, a little bit of enjoyment, and it will make it feel less like work. You won't feel as burnt out. So if you're relaxing, playing a game with your friends, even if that is on stream or not, these practical tips will definitely help you feel a little bit better, feel more positive about streaming, and more than likely then you'll reduce burnout and you'll avoid getting completely burnt out from streaming. A lot of people will just stream the game that they think their viewers want to see them play, and actually the reality is sometimes you've got to mix that up with stuff that you enjoy. So as a minimum, you should be thinking of different ways to play the same game to vary it up for you and for your viewers. And that'll be a lot more enjoyable for everyone. But also don't be afraid to try new content, new ideas. And that game will just vary it up and help you avoid burnout. Another practical tip is to try some challenges as well. Now, obviously a really long challenge like a 24 hour stream, although that would be a challenge. If you're suffering burnout, I wouldn't necessarily advise going into a 24 or a 48 hour stream. That would be crazy. Different game challenges like like speed running or no kills or no damage runs. Try switching up from controller to mouse and keyboard. And for example, if you're playing like a battle royale game, why don't you try doing what someone like Cypher PK will do and try winning the game with like the worst weapons in the game. You probably won't win and it'll be frustrating, but I guarantee you'll have fun in the process and it'll feel a lot less like work and more like fun. If you feel like you are starting to get burnt out, a really strong tip that I've got that's a practical tip is definitely to try setting a schedule. If you can fixate yourself to a schedule that's achievable, then that's more than likely going to mean that you know exactly when you're streaming and you can balance everything a lot better. You can also try doing something that's completely different to the normal thing that you would do. I, for example, sometimes will do things with my wife on stream. For example, we'll play some board games on stream. We've tried making cocktails before. We even once made burritos. These really random things that you do is a way of spending time with some friends or family or maybe your wife or girlfriend or something like that, but also means your viewers are getting a different experience and it's a lot more enjoyable for you and it just breaks up that content a little more. Don't be afraid to take breaks. There's no harm in taking a week off, two weeks off. With Twitch, to be honest, if you take more than one to two weeks off, the chances are your numbers might suffer a little bit, but that might be a worthwhile gamble if you come back a lot fresher with better ideas, with a better looking stream, and you just overall feel a lot better and more motivated about streaming. So it's a calculated risk, but it might be a risk that's worth taking. But as a minimum, you can at least take a couple of days off if you're streaming every 
day. And I guarantee that that will help you feel a lot better and avoid burnout further. Now you can take a break in a few different ways. Obviously you can just take days off, but another way of taking breaks would be to do like one longer stream and then take a following day off or do multiple streams that are a little bit shorter, which just give you a little bit more time back over the long run. So just a little bit of closing advice and hopefully a little bit of inspiration, something to leave you with that's a little bit positive. Please just take the pressure off yourself. A lot of people put so much pressure on themselves. The quality needs to be top. They need to be on their A game all the time. And the reality is that's not always the case. If your viewers are really good viewers, they'll be there for you and they'll be there through the ups and the downs and having these conversations and chilling out with them, having quieter streams, changing up your schedule. These are all things that you can talk about with your stream and most of the time they'll appreciate you for it. Taking the pressure off yourself will allow you the breathing space that you need to be able to come back better, feel better and just unwind a little bit more with your chat. I'd also say don't compare yourself to others because too many people do this. The thing is people are not in your shoes. They don't have the same struggles that you have. They don't have the same issues that you have, the same commitments. You're not always going to be able to keep up with A, B or C streamer. It's really important that you're yourself and that you compare yourself only really to who you want to be and your goals. You can't compare apples with pears, okay? So there's no point in comparing yourself to people if they're not exactly like you are because it's not even a fair comparison. You're probably being too hard on yourself anyway by doing that. And finally, don't be afraid to slow down as well. If you're really into streaming for the long run, you don't need to get results in one week, in two weeks, or in like three or four months. If you're really into streaming and you see it as a long-term thing, then the chances are you could be streaming for the next five, 10, maybe even 20 years. This is a very new emerging market and you're lucky enough to be a part of it. Don't see this as something that you have to click your fingers and just be successful at overnight. Like everything, there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. You've got to try and enjoy the journey. Have a wonderful day and take care.